This video will be an unboxing of the Kesher K2 pressure washer. Uh, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I already had to open this when I started at work just to check that uh, everything is in. So, sorry for that, but. Uh, I didn't really have time to to take a good look at this, so yeah, not completely cheating. Okay, plastic seems very good quality. Uh, uh, the hose is really light and pretty thin and flexible, so this is good. I'm not sure if I will uh, be able to wash my car, it really needs a washing with only 3 meters of hose, so I will see about that, maybe buy an extension in the future if needed. My car was in, was in a little uh, of a dust storm, which is pretty unusual for this country. And just a few drops of rain, so you can see the state of it. It's uh, ready for a good washing. Okay, the handle. Yeah, it's all plastic, but... Uh, yeah, it feels good, so I don't think there will be any quality problems with this. One single uh, washing hand comes with uh, this pressure washer, the K2 Basic, but I think it's good enough and if not I will buy another one. We will see after the first use. Some manuals that I might uh, even lightly read this time and the uh, pressure washer itself which I might not be able to take out with only one hand let us see okay something else popped out Pretty well and truly stuck. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Sorry for the tons of camera movement and shake. It's plastic, but it's uh, yeah, not too heavy, not too light. Also, this is plastic. Yeah, seems decent enough. Let me see if I can pop in the handle. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty happy about it. And in the second box. If I could uh, actually open it with one hand. Yeah, just drop the knife. How pro of me is that? Uh, foaming 
uh, I don't know how this is called extension or whatever does it have a name? Yeah. I have no idea how you call this but it's uh, for making foam on the car active foam and there should also be foam cleaner also from Kerher because I want to test it with uh, their own cleaner and uh, see how it goes and after that I will see if I continue to buy their own or uh, search something cheaper or even, even more expensive if this is not enough but it's always good to test with their own products first first so yeah, this is about it I will try and connect everything to my water hose to an electrical outlet and uh, yeah try to wash the car and see how that goes setting everything up I've just discovered something really nice the attachment for the intake is exactly as what I had before it's a standard uh, attachment so it just let me just make sure there is no sand in it just sorry you might have missed that because I wasn't careful what I, what I was doing you just connect it like that the other end on my my water mains and yeah everything is great the electrical cable is really long so I don't think I will have any issues so firstly I will just wash the, the loose dust away then uh, put some foam on the car wait a few minutes and wash everything off and see how that goes of course i didn't read the manual who reads manuals <laughs> yeah so let's see how it works just a few more things that i would like to tell you this is the k2 basic basic because it only has uh, this attachment so you can actually transform this in uh, any K2 variant if you add uh, more components to it. So I bought the cheaper one because it was on uh, a sale at a very 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 good price. And uh, I will buy just what I find that I need more than uh, this minimum. And uh, another thing. Uh, Make sure uh, that your hose that you are using uh, for intake uh, it's not easily strangled because some people uh, reported that if you don't have enough pressure uh, this can actually suck all the water from your hose, strangle it and uh, yeah, run on, uh, on no water and uh, that heats it up and uh, would damage it. And another thing, uh, if you are washing your car after it uh, stayed in the sun uh, be careful because cold water could uh, break your uh, windows or windshield so uh, somebody told me to to put uh, start the AC on the car and let it run for a few minutes to cool down the windows so now the AC is doing its thing and when I feel the windows uh, are colder to the touch then I will start to, to wash the car so watch out for that when you have the car sitting in the sand. sun everything plugged in I just did a little bit of the bonnet and I will show you how it goes be careful for some loud noises I feel the kick when it's starting. Yeah. 
you might think I'm doing that by myself, but I'm not. So yeah, I will clean the dirt first, then lay some foam on it. So I've just finished the pre preliminary wash. It's really, really good, better than I expected. It's not helping that uh, the sun is full on the car, directly on the car, but yeah, this is the situation. If you are wondering why my water stays like this on the windshield, is because I have a hydrophob treatment on it, aquapel, so that repels water. It really helps while, while driving on rain. And yeah, we'll continue. Actually, something else I didn't tell you about this. For washing carpets and stuff like that, it can draw its uh, detergent, but it doesn't make foam while drawing it like this. So this is why I bought uh, that. So yeah, this is another useful thing for it. And three meters are enough in my case. With the length of all these cables, I can go around the car easily from from two sides and yeah, all well. Okay, so let's form the car a little bit. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. And I might be able to regulate a little bit so it will not drip down so fast, but I will see about that. Anyway, it's very good in my opinion. Okay guys, so this con concludes my unboxing and first use of the Kesher K2 Basic. In my opinion is money well spent. For its first use it did good. The fact that I had my car in direct sun didn't help at all. Uh, and yeah. As I will get used to it even better, I'm sure the results would be best. And uh, yeah, I recommend buying this and uh, probably something stronger for the rims. The back rim is cleaned out okay, but this uh, I have to clean with a, a brush. If you buy something a little bit stronger detergent, just to spray on them, probably the K2 would clean also this without any problems by itself. There it's a little bit of dirt. Now I realize I didn't spray good enough, but yeah. There is a little bit room for improvement, but I'm, I'm satisfied with it overall. And probably my my skills uh, are not good enough yet. So, thanks for watching. Ask anything you want in the comments. Comment, subscribe, like, dislike, and everything else. See you again in the next video. Bye.